What's up all you cool cats and kittens? We're out here today doing the chair test. I heard from a young person that this is popular on TikTok. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna try to replicate the results here and talk a little bit about the anatomy behind it. So to do the chair challenge, you're gonna need somebody who's male bodied, somebody who's female bodied. So got a volunteer right here. So if you can set down the assistant, set down the assistant. And what you're gonna do is stand three foot wet lengths away from a wall and bend at 90 degrees and hold out your arms and then try to lift that, that chair. Can you see if there's a chair now? And try to lift yeah. that chair All right, here we go. from this position. Here we go. Oh, I can't. My male body. Not so strong now, huh? Now let me try. Oh, no. <laughs> So, what's going on here? It's likely that it's the center of balance in men and women that's a little bit different. In women, it's a few centimeters lower due to differences in the shape of the pelvis. It's wider, bigger, like we talked about, due to changes in musculature, fat deposition. So the center of balance is lower in women. That keeps the center of balance over the feet when bending over and lets us pick up a chair and ace that chair challenge. This is likely an evolutionary response to having to carry an infant while walking upright. Well, and now it's just manifested in besting your male friends at the chair challenge. So show me your responses, post them in the comments.